Hello and greetings from Eastern Europe, my name is Colby RHD and this is a review of strategy pixel art game Sea Salt. Game will be released on Nintendo Switch, Steam and Xbox One on the 17th of October. I was contacted by the developer and they asked if I want to try their game before official release. I said yes, because I know that you, my dear Vodka Warriors, would appreciate that. I should also mention that I was not given any reward for doing this review. So what is Sea Salt? It is a dark fantasy reverse horror action strategy game with a comfy horror vibe where you play as the nightmarish force of Dagon, the eldritch god, by controlling and growing a horde of evil minions. To say short, you are evil and you slay good guys. That's very nice, I like that. So here you control your minions with WASD keys and hold space to attack. Very simple. With keys you control a spot to which your creatures are drawn. They will run to the place you are pointing and whenever you press and hold space, they attack everything around them. Game looks easy at first, you just run after some weaponless guys and tear them to pieces, but later it gets harder and harder. That's what she said. And then everything you control dies horribly. Then you realize that this is no joke, that you must carefully plan your attacks and wiping those puny humans from the face of the earth is not an easy task. The enemies you encounter will get stronger as the game progresses, so you have to play smarter, try to lure them one by one and then your horde will prevail. There are two mechanics how to obtain more units. One is to collect gold by killing enemies and then when your gold orb is full, you press B button and then menu appears that lets you spawn minions of your choice. Another mechanic is to find an altar of some sort and there you can also recruit some evildoers. You obtain new minion species by slaying stronger enemies or some sometimes just because game developers decided to give them to you. They look like cards with a word in Cyrillic Morskaya. It means of the sea in Russian. Have no idea why is that written in Cyrillic, but I think it may be just design of the game because Howard Phillips Lovecraft, on whose works this game is based, was an American writer. Minions themselves look really cool. They have truly cached the soul of what is to be called Lovecraftian horror. Also, I already mentioned that the game game is hard, but I mean it. You have to do some places over and over again and sometimes start the whole chapter from the beginning. See, here you have finite number of troops and you have to complete one room at the time. All creatures who survive the room are transmitted to another room with another challenge. So if you lose a lot of them in one room, later it can be impossible to overwhelm the enemy by sheer numbers of your horde. You have to think smart and be quick with your fingers. What else? Music and sounds, the voice of Dagon is great, it can get shivers down your spine, listen to that. Everything else is okay, nothing fancy in there and music is great. Dark, gritty notes goes together with dark, gritty graphics very well. So my verdict would be 8 out of 10. It was fun to play and it's not boring. Only thing we would want here, more pixels, but I understand that the amount of them is limited by the workforce of the studio. And now I will leave you with the fight against one boss. Have a nice day, don't forget to press like button and subscribe for more reviews like that. Bye.